With your roundup of the week's tech news for a new domain in Tech Page One, I'm Eric Mack. I'm in Miami today, just back in the United States after spending some time abroad. And before I left, I spent some time looking into whether or not I should unlock my phone. I've got uh, this one here, which is uh, locked to Verizon. Uh, and where I was roaming, the fees for roaming internationally were pretty insane. I've, uh, I've still got the hilarious text messages uh, informing me that I would be charged over 20 dollars a megabyte uh, while roaming internationally in Ecuador. Uh, in the end, I decided not to unlock this phone and carry another older smartphone uh, that I bought unlocked from the UK. Um, but uh, what does all this have to do with the tech news anyway? Well, uh, as of just a few days ago, it is now illegal in the United States to do what I was thinking of doing with a new locked smartphone. Uh, this all comes from the Digital Millennium Copyright Act, which got an update from Congress uh, not too long ago. And when that happens, actually the Librarian of Congress, of all people, is responsible for translating the legislative gobbledygook into actual specific rules uh, that make sense in the real world. And the most powerful librarian in the world has made a final decree, and as of right now, if you buy a new, and it's got to be a new one, a new smartphone that's locked to a specific carrier, like with a, a contract of some kind, uh, you cannot unlock that phone without the permission of that carrier. It's illegal to do so as of Saturday, January 26, 2013. Ouch. Uh, so I wrote about this online last week and I got tons of questions emailed and tweeted at me. Uh, so I just wanted to take this time to try and clean up uh, some of the confusion. So first of all, uh, this does not mean you won't be able to buy unlocked phones on Amazon and other places. That's still fine. That can continue. Uh, bringing in unlocked phones to the United States from Europe or wherever, totally fine. That's great. Un unlocking used phones? Uh, the librarian specifically says that's okay, but it's not really clear how that would work, say, if you bought a used phone from somebody and it's, it's still locked. Um, so the best move is actually to call the carrier that it's locked to and work something out with them just to be safe. Also, this only applies to new phones purchased after January 26th. So I could technically unlock this old one uh, without getting into any trouble, except perhaps with Verizon. Um, so yes, this is also different than jailbreaking and rooting. A lot of questions about that. We're just talking about being locked to a specific carrier network here. Uh, okay, so what if your contract runs out? That's another big question. Uh, and so the way the rule spells it out, uh, it doesn't really mean you could just unlock it right away automatically if your two-year contract runs out. You still gotta call the carrier and ask permission first. So in other words, if you want an unlocked phone, you're better off just buying it that way. And so naturally, some people aren't too happy about this. Uh, there's even a, a petition on the White House website right now uh, asking for a reversal of this rule. Uh, I'd say with the backing of the wireless industry at this point, that's probably going to be a pretty tough sell to the Obama administration, but we shall see. That's it for my take on the tech news of this week. Wishing you happy roaming, but without all the excessive fees, I'm Eric Mack for Tech Page One and a new domain.